What's up guys, Enos here again today, uh, playing some Advanced Warfare. I apologize, there hasn't been a video in like three or four days, but I'm, I've been having some issues adjusting to this game until the last couple of days. Um, this is actually the first game I played on this, on the, on the new Call of Duty. Um, I'd just gotten it from, you know, the midnight release on Monday night, pre-ordered it, so I got it a day early, which I'm pretty sure, even if you didn't pre-order it, a lot of people got the day zero release deal. Just because stores were selling them left and right. Um, but anyway, this is the first game I played. I'm using a Bow 27. Uh, decent gun. I don't particularly care for it. A lot of people find it really good. It's solid for some people. Um, you see, the game's really laggy throughout this. Uh, just because it's you know, how it is on day one servers. Um, but uh, the, I think the Bow 27 the AK-12 is the only two assault rifles you can use. Um, when you first start the game, anyway, uh, before you level up a little bit, uh, the submachine guns on this game horrible. Not gonna lie, they need to be buffed. The damage rate is way too low. At close range, especially at long range. I do apologize for those couple little video glitches there. I don't know what was up with the recording software, but uh, I don't know. I think it'll happen a couple of times. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Um, anyway. Yeah, this is the first game I played. Uh, I don't even use, I don't use this gun. I don't use pretty much everything that's on this class I'm not using anymore. Um, I use the ARX-160. Uh, burst fire assault rifle. Shoots pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. Um, very accurate. Decent damage. Um, I'm actually using a version that I unlocked that has less damage with better accuracy and a better fire rate. Um, it makes it well worthwhile to use if you can be more accurate and put out more bullets on this game you're much better off than just having high damage unless you're sniping of course but um you're better off because because of the exo movements and everything else accuracy is very important on this game and you're more apt to get the kill when they're boosting through the air or something if you're more accurate than you are if you you have higher damage that's just my opinion um i get two turrets in the or turrets yeah, turrets, um, remote turrets there. Neither one of them get a freaking kill. I don't even think they shoot. Um, I don't know if it was a glitch for the day zero thing or what, but neither one of them shot until about two days ago. I hadn't even seen. Like I've had a lot of turrets because I just didn't change my kill streaks and pay attention to them. To be honest, um, you can see I actually try to use it remotely here, and there's nobody in front of me. And somebody set up their turret pointing the exact same direction right in front of mine, which was stupid. Um. Nobody comes around, so I don't get a kill on it. I just leave. But, uh. The turrets just didn't even shoot for like the first two or three days. I don't know what was up with it, but. Um. Like I said, I don't use anything that's on this class anymore. Uh. I use the ARX, and my perks are low profile and flak jacket. Because we're, if you get in these close quarter situations, or, you know. Use an extra ability to boost around a wall. A lot of times, somebody's going to you know, shoot a grenade at you. Um, it's very handy to have flag jacket because you don't necessarily have to boost back out around the corner right in front of them. You can just kind of back up a little bit, let it hit you. You won't take a whole lot of damage. You know, still might be able to get that kill. Um, one of the most useful perks I've found so far is blast suppressor. Uh, so you don't show your pings on the radar when you're using your extra movements. It quietens them down. Um, I, I, maybe. Maybe other people have noticed, I've definitely noticed, footsteps are almost non-existent in this game. You can't hear people walking. Um, it's almost impossible to hear somebody coming behind you. That guy liked a little bit. Um, but if you have Blast Suppressor, you also quieten down your, your exo movements. And it is very, very easy to detect where people are with the exo movements. And I think they did that on purpose. That they quieten the footsteps, raise the exo movement uh, level, I guess you could say, for sound, and um, it becomes very easy to track people with their exo movements. And that's why I run blast suppressor. You don't, I'm not on the radar, and you don't hear me as much. Um, I'm not dead silent by any means, but uh, I am more quiet, and I find that very useful. Um, I run toughness, which I've been thinking about trying to get away from, to maybe use hardwired. Uh, to avoid the system hacks because a lot of people like system hacks that is one of the most annoying things I've ever seen in my life um, but it is in the game you got to deal with it uh, I, so I have been trying to think you know trying to maybe consider 
using hardwire instead of toughness. I've never played a match on this without toughness. I don't really know what that's like. I think that's the only perk left on from the default loadout that I actually used on this. Maybe low profile is the default loadout perk. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, it's, I guess it just depends on how you like to play. I like to be unseen on this game because everything is so vertical that, you know, as soon as you boost jump, somebody's going to see you. So, you kind of need to be silent if possible uh, and sneaky, I guess you could say. But, um, you know, this is this is the first game I played. I went 17 and 8. It wasn't bad. Uh, the rest of the night didn't go quite so well. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having fun on the new Call of Duty. Hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon. I've got a few more games I want to post now. They're not near as good as Ghost. But uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed.